guys okay? Uh, yeah. Why don't I have a bag? What? what? Why, I, Seeing comes before words. Berger? Guys, I think we're in Ferg's basement. What? Is this because it's Wednesday night and we still haven't found the target reader? <sighs> I still haven't done the last project. I have an incomplete in the class. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so clearly Ferg isn't going to let us out of his basement until we either come up with pants with penis cleavage or we identify the target reader. So... Let's get to work. All right. I just, I just don't get, because like you got a bag and you got a bag. I just don't get why I didn't. Maybe he just bag. ran out of bag. It he doesn't. doesn't what? Bird doesn't run out of bag. Whoa, 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 guys, guys, guys. Really? Is this what we're arguing about right now? We need to get this done. Wait, which one? The, the penis cleavage or the project? The project. The project, you moron. Come on, seriously? All right, do, do we even have like a magazine? Wish granted, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so who reads Car and Driver? That's who. what we need to find out. Who reads the magazines? Uh, not us, apparently. Chris, you all right? Yes. I was just reading. Um, okay. So now, we're gonna create the target reader. Ugh, really? Why me, dude? Just, just go with it. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's start with the car, bro. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Let's do the, the, the grease monkey. Let's do that. Mm, no, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards the car, bro. I feel like I appeal more. What's going on, guys? West Hartford. No, nope, never mind. No, 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 no. Let's just go with the fancy guy, I guess. All right. Well, what about him? Well, he's an older, affluent white male who still buys and reads magazines. He's trying to hold on to his youth while possibly going through a midlife crisis. Someone who either has or dreams to have lots of disposable income to throw out tools, tobacco, and expensive cars. Rarely do we ever see reviews of affordable cars, just sports cars, or even supercars. All of the content in the magazine upholds traditionally masculine values. The articles are almost all written about expensive sport cars, written in typically overconfident tone and described in fetishistic detail. The ads are mostly for car, tobacco, and workwear companies. They use language that adheres to the tough guys. They value independence and self-reliance, preferring to fix their cars themselves. After all, manly car enthusiasts don't need to take them to the shops. Also. This demographic cares much more about how the car looks and drives, and much less about its efficiency or practicality. The louder and faster, the better. So let's get into the specifics of what we're talking about here. The first ad, skinny legs and all, clearly shows an older man presumably of an affluent background based on the fact that he's driving an expensive sports car. It shows this man trying to bring back his youth by driving a fast car and wearing young person apparel. The phrase skinny legs and all denotes an image of extensive wealth based on the fact that skinny legs was once a desirable trait amongst royalty and affluent in the past centuries. It meant that you were wealthy enough to do little work for yourself because you had others to do so for you. This cover of an article titled Yacht Rock shows cars that no one but the most elite could have the money to afford. Basically. The magazine appeals to traditionally masculine readers who either genuinely believe in or want to look like they believe in stereotypical masculine ideals, such as aggression, power, strength, wealth, and self-reliance. This is otherwise known as The, the Tough, Tough Guys. I think we've done it. Yeah, I think so. Ferg? Ferg! Ferg, can we come out now? Ferg! 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 Sigh. 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 Sigh.